guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, the girls are back and they're back for vengeance. Honestly, guys, look at these curls. Absolutely no heat damage. <laughs> and the ends are looking fresh to death. Mm -hmm. In this routine, you see how I go from straight to curly and the steps I take to make sure that my hair is in good condition and nourished with a good protein and moisture balance as well. But yeah, let's get straight into this video, see how I go from straight to curly. Right, so this has been about seven weeks since I straightened my hair now. I know, and I'm just going to wash my hair now. I pre pooed my hair the night before, just with some coconut oil, and applied it to my scalp as well. And I just put it into these two braids here. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just gonna take them down and I'm gonna start my washing process. And as you can see, my hair is very nourished. I use coconut oil because it's penetrative and I needed some moisture to go back into my hair because, just because it's been so dry for so long. This is what it's looking like. If you don't have one of these, these are really good for catching all the hair strands. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start by saturating my hair with water. So I'm using warm water just because I want all of the goodness from the products I'm using to actually penetrate my strands. I do that for about three to five minutes just so that my hair can really soak in all of that water. So because my hairs have been washed for about seven weeks, I'm gonna be using this ORS um, shampoo. This one has sulfates in it, but I just need something to actually clarify my scalp. And I don't have a specific clarifying shampoo. So I'm just gonna take some of that and put it on my scalp directly. And you wanna make sure that you're using the soft pads of your fingertips, not your nails. Yes, yeah, so just really getting in there with my scalp. And then I'm gonna take my scalp brush to stimulate my roots. taking the Pantene Gold Series Shampoo. This is a sulfate free shampoo infused with argan oil. It gently cleanses and hydrates for instant softness for stronger hair. So yeah, I've never used any Pantene products before. Not since I knew better, <laughs> but these are supposed to be designed for natural transition and relaxed hair. So I'm gonna start with that much just to see how the product works in my hair. Suds quite well actually or sulfate free. I'm taking it all the way down my hair because I just want my hair to have a good clean. I think that was only about three pumps as well. The suds are not quite a lot. I like it. it. Doesn't feel bad in my hair at all. That's my hair after shampooing. It actually feels really soft with that shampoo. And it doesn't feel dry at all. I actually do recommend it. So I'm moving on to deep condition my hair before I condition it. Just because I want the deep conditioner to do most of the work. So I'm going to take the ORS Hair Restore Hair Mayonnaise. This is a conditioning treatment for damaged and weak hair. And obviously I just applied a lot of heat to my hair. so. I want to restore it. <laughs> I'm going to use it quite liberally as well. And I'm just going to try and finger this angle a little bit before I go in with my brush to the tangle. More to my ends. And I really like interlocking my fingers because it acts as your own flexible comb. So it's really good at getting all the knots out. So by the time I'm ready to put, actually put the brush in my hair, my hair's pretty much detangled already. Now I'm going to take my easy detangler brush and detangle my hair. And as you can see, it's so easy. But that's because my hair was straight anyway, so it shouldn't really have that much tangles. Right, so that's one side done. And I'm just going to put it in a twist, just because I don't want it to tangle up. And I'm really seeing the shrinkage now because I cut my hair. And I just put a hairband in. And to the other side. I'm going to re-wet this side because as you can see, it's very dry now. Soaking wet. Lots of products. Even more products. 
even more for that. <laughs> Turn more to the ends. Now I'm applying my mixture of oils on my scalp and on my hairline. It's infused with peppermint oil and rosemary oil, which is good to stimulate growth. And I'm just rubbing that into my scalp. And then I just put my conditioning cap back on. And now I'm using my soft hood hairdryer attachment to apply heat for 15 minutes. And then once I'm done, I go ahead and rinse that thoroughly out of my hair, making sure that it's completely out of my hair because I don't want to leave any of the deep conditioner in my hair because it'll just make my hair dry and brittle. So now I'm going to take the Pantene Gold Series Conditioner. It says it's infused with argan oil, moisturizes and detangles hair for instant softness and strength. So because I've used the protein hair mask, I'm now using this conditioner to add more moisture to my hair. You can skip this step if you want to, but um, yeah, I like to add deep conditioner and conditioner. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave this on for about five minutes while I shower. Alright, so now that's all washed out, I'm going to put my leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to firstly squeeze off all the excess water. And I'm going to tie up the section that I'm not going to be working on. So today I'm going to be using the Pantene Gold Series Leave-On Detangling Milk. And I'm not really a fan of these pump bottles because, you know, need a lot of it. I'm just going to work it into my hair. This feels very lightweight. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Um, it smells like cow paw. Weird. <laughs> I'm just taking my brush and detangling it. Applying a little bit more product. I'm just trying to clump my curls while I have this product in my hair soaking wet. I'm not usually a soaking wet application kind of gal just because I don't really feel like I get the best results with my hair soaking wet. And then I just twist up the section once it's all tangled. So I'm applying a little bit more of the product on my ends. So that's one section done. And just do the same for the rest. So that's all the twists done. Um, I don't know how I feel about this leave-in conditioner already. It's got a weird texture. Like, it feels like shampoo and it's giving me some little slippy feeling. Don't know what that's about. I'll use it up anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I just put my hair up in this bun and I'm just going to shower off my body. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I just did my makeup. It took me about 20 minutes and my edges are getting a little bit dry, but the actual hair is actually still quite wet. Um, so I won't need to add any extra water or anything like that. So since I have the leave-in conditioner in my hair ready, all I have to do is put my oil and my gel on. So it's not going to take that much time at all. So I made a fresh batch of my hair oil mixture that I like to use. And I actually recorded it this time. So the video will finally be up soon. And so I'm just going to put this in each section before I put my gel. And as you can see, my hair is clumped up already. Looking real good. And I'm just taking a little bit more and adding to my ends of my hair. Just making sure to get in the section as well. Right, so as for the gel, I do have other gels that I want to try, but I bought a big tub of this Eco Styler gel a long time ago, so I might as well just put it to use. And there's nothing wrong with Eco Styler gel for me anyway. It's just that I'd rather use plant based gels now. So yeah, I'm just taking the Eco Styler gel and applying it liberally into each section, raking, smoothing all of that just to try and get my curls to clump and I just take the whole section and apply it just like that you see and I'm just parting the section into two again just so that I can get closer to the roots I just apply it as close to my scalp as possible but not actually touching my scalp so I don't want the gel on my scalp and I'm not going to do any shingling or anything with this routine I'm just going to make sure I rake and interlock my fingers as much as I can 
to get that clumping action. See, so raking really helps. It's like you use a claw like that and grab it. And then once they're clumped how I want them, I just go ahead and smooth the hair down. This gel feels a little bit more lightweight than the olive oil one. I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> not better than the olive oil one anyway. But yeah, that's clumped enough for me. And yeah, just repeat that for each section basically. Loving the healthiness. But yeah, it's clumping quite nice as well. And also, so far, so good. Can't see any heat damage yet. Well, I actually don't think I have heat damage. I don't usually get heat damage when I straighten my hair, so yeah. So yeah, I'm just going in with the Eco Styler Gel again. Just enough to make my hair clump together. Because I don't want to have a gel cast over my hair either. I hate when my washing girls are crunchy, so I try to avoid it at all costs. So you might look at these curls and think it's heat damaged, but as you can see, it's coming like that from the roots. So yeah, I just have a looser texture in this section of my hair. Literally that box right there is like freezy. So that's what makes my hair freezy for a, this front section is looser and then the back is coilier. So I'm just gonna apply just a little bit more gel cause I can see it's getting a bit frizzy and I'm just gonna smooth it. I'm not gonna rake or anything like that. Just smoothing it over like that. You see the difference now? So that's all the hair done. And I'm just gonna part my hair to the side, obviously, yeah, because this middle part life is not for me. And then I'm just gonna apply some gel to the roots here. And just apply some more gel on the top curls here. So that's all done. And what I'm gonna do now is just scrunch my curls upwards, mainly at the top section, so that they fall a little bit higher than the back. So yeah, that's all done. And I'm just gonna do my edges quickly, just because I am going out. So I'm just using the ORS Edge Control and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the Eco Style on top, just because I like the formula of the ORS one, but this Eco Styler gel does give it a better hold. So yeah, that's the edges done. And I'm just gonna diffuse my hair a little bit because I don't have time to wait for it to air dry. So I'm gonna diffuse my hair for the first time ever. And I'm just using this hair dryer by Remington. And I'm just gonna put this diffuse attachment on it. And I'm gonna put it on low speed, low heat. First. Right, I don't have no idea what I'm doing with this. I just know that I'm working on low heat, low speed. <laughs> Right, so what I'm gonna do is mainly get my roots because that's the part that takes the longest time to dry. Right, from what I can see with the diffuser ready, it's actually making my hair a little bit frizzy and I'm not used to having like visible frizz already, but also the gel's not giving me a strong hold. So it could be a combination of the two. I'm not really sure yet. I'm not ruling out the diffuser yet, but yeah, I'm an air dry girl. I love to air dry my hair. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue to diffuse my hair and then I'll be back once I'm happy with how dry it is. So my hair is about 90% dry, I would say. Um, it's just little parts in the back hair that are still kind of damp. But yeah, this is the results. Very, very happy with the outcome. I think the products worked really well together. Even though the leave-in conditioner was a little bit light, but Look at these results. My hair is so soft, like really, really soft. No crunchy bits at all. I'm not really too sure what this curl is doing though. Like why is she longer than the rest of the hair? And she's not damaged in any way. So, but yeah, I'm so happy that I didn't get an ounce of heat damage. Using a new routine is always scary. And I'm very happy that my curls are back now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just ready for summer, ready for springtime. No heat until September. And yeah, these curls are gonna thrive even more. Love it. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.